Dylan and Ron Staszewski both remember how long it's been since they first thought they were allergic to penicillin. For Ron, it was 50 years ago when he got an injection in the Army. For Carolyn, it's when she had their first child. And I broke out in a rash all over. And they said, oh, never again. You can't take penicillin. They're part of the 10% of the population who list themselves as allergic to penicillin. But only about 1% of people are actually allergic. When we're children and we have this added to our medical record, then over time, as we get repeated infections, we don't ever address the issue again. That's how Claire Brandman came to think she was allergic. Then an alternative antibiotic for a minor dental procedure led to much bigger health problems. It was a nightmare, and I actually ended up having my stomach kind of messed up for a few years since then. Penicillin allergy prevents patients from taking any of the penicillins, including amoxicillin and augmentin. The first question it asks is, was the reaction unknown? Now, Allergists at Mass General Hospital in Boston have developed an app to help doctors quickly identify patients who should get tested for penicillin allergy. It helps the doctor or the nurse ask more detailed questions that are usually sort of allergy specialist knowledge, but sort of at the palm of uh, your hands. It's a simple skin test, like checking for pollen or mold allergies. Turns out Claire is not allergic, which could make a big difference next time she needs an antibiotic. Sinus infections, ear infections, uh, pneumonias, bladder infections, skin infections. Infections, anything you can name of, usually a penicillin is going to be a preferred option. Now, you should only get the allergy test before you get sick and then you need the antibiotic. And of course, that test must be done in a doctor's office in case you do have a bad reaction to penicillin. Do not try this at home. And another thing that some people think they're allergic to penicillin, they're actually allergic to some of the dyes and additives in the pills, mm -hmm. not to the antibiotic itself. So you have to also kind of sort that out. But a lot of people, 9 out of 10, aren't really allergic to it. Just fine. Yeah. Wow. Well, exactly. Thank okay. you, Dr. Thank Max. Thank you. you